first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab the bare PSD and from your files and drag this in and drop it on the canvas. Now, what we want to do with this graphic is we want to create a template. So we already have the layer selected. Go right here and uh, we're going to click right here. Come down to options for layer one. Let's rename layer one to bear with a capital B. Okay. And in order to create a template, we have to click right here. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the value uh, where it says dim images. We're going to change it from 50 to 70. Click OK. And that's it for the bare graphic uh, being saved or converted to a template. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create and learn how to uh, modify artboards. So go File, New. And the dimensions that I'm using is 1000 pixels by 600 pixels. All right. Um, 300 DPI. Create. Okay. So here I'm going to go to Window. I'm coming down to Artboards. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create six artboards. All right. Now we have them there, but you can't really see them because our canvas is too large. So we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead. I'm on a Mac. So I'm going to do command minus. If you're on a PC, you would do control minus. Okay, so now you can see my artboards. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a simple graphic. First, I'm going to select a color, choose red. It's a deep red, but that's fine. I'm going to come up here and select my polygon tool. And I'm just going to drag out polygon there. Drag a little polygon here. It doesn't matter the size doesn't really matter the location as long as it's actually on the artboard and we're doing this for a reason you'll find out in a minute alright so now if you see up in the layers I have all six uh, graphics so what I want to do is I want to rearrange my artboards so in there's a couple of ways we can do that, but the easiest way is clicking right here. But I'm going to show you. You can go through here, okay, and you can click Rearrange Artboards. That's one way to do it. But since this is visible right here, let's click right here. All right. So just to show you different things you can do here, um, we do want to move the artwork with the artboards, but let's unselect that. Let's uncheck that right quick just to see what will happen if we don't. And I'm going to click here for the grid. So three columns at 20 pixels of spacing. Click OK. Watch what happens. Okay, so that's obviously not what we want. So let's go and click Edit, Undo. All right. Now, we have our artboards, obviously, right? So you guys can be able to see them. Okay, so this time we're going to select move artwork 
with artboard and gonna go ahead and click OK and watch what happens excellent and that's what we want and if you wanted the layout to be arranged by row you could simply select that and click OK Let's go ahead and create a new canvas. See it's 1000 pixels by 600 pixels and the resolution is 300 PPI. All right, so here we're going to be modifying a shape and then we're gonna move to uh, rearranging the orientation of an artboard. So first of all, let's go ahead and pick a shape. I like stars. Let's pick a star. Let's go ahead and give it a fill color. Uh, what are we going to make it here? Let's make this one green. Excellent. Put it down here. So let's go ahead and select the direct selection tool. And we're going to grab right here, grab this little widget and we're going to round the corners. Okay. Now that's easy enough to do and pretty hard to forget I would think but what if we need to go deeper? Let's select just this widget only by itself. Just click it one time. Now here look at that. I can modify just that or I can click on here and modify just that one. Click here and modify that to create a unique shape. Um, and if I double click here, it opens up some options to change some values. Um, if we're looking for specific radius we could modify there and also if I step back by doing I'm on a Mac so I'm using command Z if you're on a PC I believe that's control Z so let's say I needed to round this to a certain value you can see the value let's say if I was supposed to be at like say 30 point I don't know 30.19 I would be at 30.19 all right so moving on let's switch over to artboard so if I go to window artboard okay and if I wanted to change the orientation of the artboard because right now this is landscape I can click right here and I come down to artboard options and right now as you can see it's on landscape so if I wanted it to be upright I would click on that and I click OK and you will see the changes here we go and that's all we have there Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to learn how to rearrange shapes or objects and also group objects. So one of the first things I want to do is this looks like it's lined up right, but it's obviously not. So if I take my selection tool and drag over these shapes like this and I go right over here to a line click on more options I can come down here where it says distribute spacing and I can 
click on uh, vertical distribute of the spacing and now it has an equal amount of space and then if I want to center it I just click right here for the horizontal align center and it snaps in place right I'm gonna do the same for the pink shapes I'm gonna go a little quicker because you guys already saw it done and the same for the orange sorry about that okay all right so now I have these lined up now I want to actually group them so in order to group them I want to select them let's say I want to select just the yellow shapes I hold my inner key I depress it and I'm just gonna click on them all right then I can go here and click group all right and I can I can check to make sure that it worked properly I mean I know it did but if I go click on my layers I see the group right here and if I click this little arrow to drop down I see all my yellow shapes right here and if I wanted to I could even double click there and just name that yellow all right and I can do the same with the other shapes as well so these I won't rename but I will group them so I'm gonna hold down my shift key select all four shapes go to my properties panel click group and I'm gonna check and make sure that they're grouped and another way of checking is I could actually uh, hide them they're right here so if I if I wanted to see okay had I could click here to obviously see all of them but I could also click on the eyeball so I know I'm on it right and obviously even better is if I named that pink I would know all right, so let's group these, the orange ones, and we're going to move on. Holding my shift key, selecting all the shapes, going to properties, clicking group. All right. Um, and we've already gone over the lesson of how to arrange them. Let's say I wanted to ungroup them. Aha. It's already selected. It's already been grouped. I want to ungroup. I just click ungroup. And that's that. 